this is a below tree line slope. Pretty tight trees here outside of a natural avalanche. Same stuff we've been looking at. These are really junky facets that formed during our endless dry spell midwinter. Now here's the slab that's formed in the last couple weeks or a week or two. You can see it's getting a little stiffer now. Now we're getting into the four finger range and it's two or three feet deep. This is below tree line. This is where we're seeing smaller slabs as you go above tree line where there's wind loading. These slabs are quite a bit larger um, and we're expecting to see some pretty big naturals once it clears up. More of the same here as we approach near tree line. The slab is 70 centimeters tall, so it's about a little over two feet. And it propagated all the way across this bowl over to there and ran to the valley bottom. Now we're on the pencil above Mount Axel. This whole thing slid and then just total carnage over here on Lang Chung face. Pretty much slid to the ground across the whole bowl. I'm sure it was just rotten sugar with the new snow above it that's fallen the last couple weeks. And this thing ran huge debris pile at the bottom. I can't see it from here, but we're talking D3, like large enough to destroy a car. bowl above Green Lake. This one ran as well. Every bowl we've come to. This one again cleaned out pretty much to the ground. Ran all the way to the bottom. <laughs> 